to wait how is everybody doing i hope everybody's doing good i'm going to do as promised a tutorial on two things one um you know i got these little small size um at my ulta haul i got these little small size um pocket pros by Lorac. And I've got number one and number two, but today I decided to use the Honest palette. And um, it's another small one. We'll do the other two on another day. And this is the Honest Beauty palette. And this is the Truly Magnetic Heather Mauve Eyeshadow Trio. And here are the colors. And I just felt like wearing them today. So I thought I would do that. And then also, if you remember yesterday... I did a haul from Walgreens, which I put this nail polish on, which really kind of toned down the fact that my coffin nails are so long because the French white was just like, bam. And this is called Style Number 190, and it's Style in Excess. It's the new Essie um, Gel. It's not like gel nails, but it's a gel polish-ish and it's a beautiful lavender gray and I really really love the way it kind of toned down the length and I also think it's a beautiful color and I feel like my nails are a little too long this time but um, I'm living with it because I'm not going to pay for an immediate fill-in so this is what you get now let's get right to the palette because I am going to I've already uh, primed my eyes and everything so I'm going to first of all do a little wash of the um, this um, kind of pale pink color and so I'm just going to use a, this is a blending brush but it's kind of like a fan blending brush and I want to just kind of do a wash over the whole lid remember I'm a little shaky because um, I've got a problem with my shoulder right now so you may see this kind of wobbly because there's not a lot of strength in my arm. So I'm definitely going to start with under the brow because that's where I want a lot of this highlighting color. Then I'm just going to pull it down, all the way down. It's just going to be an all-over wash. I'm definitely going to use the, the side of the corner of the um, brush to get this inner corner real good. All the way into the nose bone, so that kind of blue area where there's, you know, the skin's real thin. You get that real good. And then I always brush over kind of the inner corner of the top lid and the bottom lid so to kind of get that you know inner corner real good and just that inner corner and then a slight wash over the rest why am I doing that because y'all know normally I do a light colored lid but today I'm going to use the heather color Ooh, okay this is where it really hurts because my shoulder it's my right shoulder so when I reach across my chest mm -mm, it hurts I may look just like I'm smiling, but inside I'm going, <laughs> Sure, drinking caffeine does not help. So I've got a really good wash right here. And I'm just going to bring it down a little. Just the, All this is doing is giving me a powder base for the rest of what I'm doing. And then again, I'm going to, let's see, I want this left corner now. With getting into that nose bone area in the top and bottom of my inner corner. Just to make sure it wakes it up. That's the lightest color you wanna make it wake up. And then I also do pull a little back here. I've already put on my liner, but that's okay. I want it to be subtle. So if a little powder gets over it, it's okay. So I'm going to use, instead of a flat shader, which you typically would on the, um, the um, lid, I am going to use this Heather color right here, and I'm using a large fluffy brush. And these are Jessup um, brushes, by the way. Why am I doing this? Just because I want to get a good, full um, brush to get this color all over. Now, see, it is a matte, true mauve Heather color. It is a perfect. And I'm going all the way to the lash line, even though I've already got my liner on. The liner was almost like a base. I didn't want it to be a really loud liner today. Now, when I do this Lorac Pro 2, is that the 2? Yeah, this is the 2. I would do a very dramatic uh, wing liner because of this light color, the rose gold, and black. Um, that's going to be a very nude look, except for the black um, outer V. 
So that's where I would want that to be a very uh, noticeable but um, wing liner. But this I want to be very subtle. This is a very soft look today. And so I'm just going over the lid. I'm not going on top, though, of that um, pink champagne color I just did. The little pink highlighter color. Now I am going to come up into the crease with this. And there's a little doggy here. Because doggies are in my life. With the doggy bag song. Oh yes, my last... Um, See, I'm filming these in between my other ones because I still have videos to do, but I'm filming them in between the contest one and the last contest one is going up probably tomorrow because um, if you'll notice, I'm tapping back into the tray because I want to keep using this. Okay, so I feel like I've laid a good heather base now. I am going to kind of get up in here just softly. Because I'm fixing to put on now, um, let me get a thinner brush. We're going to use this. This is a short shader. Boy, it does have some fallout. And I do have a lot of doggy hairs. Oh, that's, that's people hairs. I can't blame the doggies. All right, so now I'm going for this inner color. And it's a beautiful, um, I would call it like an aubergine. I don't know. It's like a beautiful purple it's a definitely a darker purple, you know? And I'm really filling the brush up because first I'm going to go underneath and do my um, lash line so that I can get a line. I'm using it as a liner. Tap that off real good so you don't get liner boogie crumbs all over your cheek under your eye. And I'm using both sides of the brush because it got on both sides. And all that does is reinforce the lashes for when I put on the new mascara. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the upper lash line even though I've got liner on. This is just softening that liner and also kind of reinforcing the lash line. And then I'm also going to take a little extra and do an outer V. Wash right to the crease, but mostly stay to the outer outer V. And all I'm doing is just kind of darkening this up just lightly, blending it out good. I like these little simple kits, you know, it's just kind of got a highlight, a, a blender color, and a darker color for you to use for lash line and stuff. And also remember, I'm in front of a camera, so I may not have the right lighting, so I, sometimes I do have to touch it up later for actual day wear. Okay, so again, we're just kind of dusting this lash line with this color to just kind of reinforce the lash line and the liner that's there. And then when we get out there, we're going to go ahead and come in once or twice just to get a, uh, whoops, that didn't blend out good. There we go. A little bit of a darkness for definition in the crease, but now we're really kind of working that outer V with this darker color. And why? Because that's where your lashes go up and out. So you want to kind of enforce this area. I will say this feels very dry, this, this powder. I feel like it's really kind of highlighting um, the dryness of the lid. That's not really good, actually. It's a $16 palette, which doesn't necessarily mean anything. You can have good makeup for cheap prices, but sometimes you do pay more for um, moisturizing effects and emollients that cost money, so the vendor has to charge you more, and that's why. And sometimes, it's, let's face it, it's just marketing. So I feel like that is a pretty good blend. I'm going to get my blender brush. This is a tapered blending brush. I'm just going to make sure, first of all, I get good by that nose so I don't have any lines. And then the line between the brow and the brow bone. And then this outer area. Just kind of, you know, make sure that there's no obvious lines. Let's blend them out. And this may go into two videos. I have no idea. I just scratched my face. Okay. I've already put on my waterline liner, and so I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. 
This is a CoverGirl um, lash um, bender, <laughs> eyelash curler. And um, I see a little crumb on my nosy from where some of this dropped. And you can always use a fan brush or a highlighter brush or something to knock off any crumbs. I'm going to let that out just a little bit and recurl it a little bit more towards the socket of my eye. I really do kind of feel like this highlighted wrinkles, y'all, to be honest. I don't know if it's because it's so powdery or if it's my application of it or if it's because it's early morning. Okay, why did I just get so quiet? <laughs> That was really quiet. Okay, so after that, then I'm going to take a tissue and always wipe that off because you've got uh, moisture from your eye that gets on your eyelash curler and, you know, the shadow and primer, all that. You don't want that to build up on your eyelash curler. And I also just noticed that there is a tiny little lash that got pulled out. It does not want to come off. Hold on. Oh, there's a lash that got squished down in there and it won't come off. Okay, I'll get that off camera. Anyway, I got the, everything else off. But and the fact that there is stuff on this tissue reinforces my point. Also, a tissue is not a good thing to use. You should use a makeup wipe. Because that was just like, no. Okay, so I'm using the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Hydrofuse, which basically means it's waterproof. Oh, that was all the, the French side. This is the American the English side. All right, so I'm going to start with this end, which is for upper lashes. Give it a good swirl around. Now, this also may not be a really good, fair test. Because y'all know when you first open one, they're usually a lot more wet. 